This is the all-new Audi A3 sedan and as a designer we are really proud of the result because we have been putting a lot of work into that, that car. And let me begin with the front end of the car because the front, we see the front as the face and therefore it's really important to give the car character and uh, to give it personality, so to say. And if we start with the front, we have to talk about the single frame grille. And as you can see, the single frame grille has now a honeycomb pattern for the very first time in the A3. So a very three-dimensional structure that gives a lot of uh, depth and a lot of quality to the front appearance of the car. And um, at the same time, the grille sits very low, it's facing down to the road. So the whole car hunkers down and has more of a dynamic uh, approach and a dynamic uh, attitude towards the road. And as you can see, the grille creates also the architecture of the front. You have all the lines coming from the corners of the grille, creating a three-dimensional sculpture, as well as from the rings, as a kind of negative power dome, we call it, that continues over the hood and stretches the front of the car. Another highlight is the headlight of the A3 sedan. Let me show you this. The headlight has a really sharp cut shape and is really bold in its expression, as you can see, but we also have a digital daytime running light that can vary. Whether you choose a base car or an S-Line, you have different daytime running light graphics in the front, um, so it's an absolute innovation for our A3 sedan. Now coming to the side, the main feature on the body side of the A3 sedan is the shoulder line that runs all the way, stretching the car while still being compact. And the most important thing is dividing into light and shadow. So a very light shoulder and a very dark body side that is modeled in a really nice, precise way to give it a lot of three-dimensional sculpture. Furthermore, you have the rocker that extends towards the rear of the car, runs into the rear bumper, bringing a lot of wedge and dynamic into the side. As a designer, we would normally always pull the wheels out as much as possible to give the car a really proper stance. We have done that in a way, but instead we have pushed the body side in as much as possible. So we have a lot of three-dimensional movement going on here, creating a sculpture that pronounces Quattro in a very new way. Then we have a really shallow cabin with a sloping coupe-like roof line that is also very compact sitting on the car, it's pushing the car forward. So all in all, a body side with a really sporty dynamic appearance. The rear spoiler creates a better aerodynamic drag efficiency, while my personal highlight of the rear are the lights. Vertical stripes on the outside and the horizontal stripe on the inside um, create a really nicely crafted element. And together with the rear diffuser, they emphasize the width of the car. All in all, these elements make for a really sporty and fresh looking sedan. Now let's talk about the interior of the A3. We have a sketch here with uh, which I can describe you the interior perfectly. We had two main goals. We wanted to follow the car's uh, sporty nature and we wanted to integrate the new digital content. We wanted to have a completely different layout from the passenger to the driver. That's why we used the air vents to create on the passenger side a very horizontal feeling, diving in from the side right into the steering wheel. And on the steering wheel, we have a very cockpit-like feeling by putting the air vents on top of the IP. This separates the passenger from the driver. Coming from the sketch, we now see the interior in the reality. You can see all the proportions and dimensions. The air vents on top that really create this immersive cockpit and then the very wide passenger section that creates this super, super slim dashboard. In between, we have the black panel element that contains the MMI Touch. And we really designed it in a way that it appears to be super thin. We have the glossy surface that goes all around the corner. Coming to the center console, we follow the same principle. We have a nice trim part that surrounds the black panel area. Inside the black panel area, we have the new shifter, the new shifter design. And this is the shift by wire, which enabled us to make it very small. And this enables us to give a new spacious feeling in the center console. For example, the storage unit in the front where you put your mobile phone. Altogether, the driver-orientated cockpit of this car fits perfectly to the sporty exterior of the A3 sedan.